welcome back to my channel. We are using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Brow Mousse to start off with brows. Using a Tarte Brow Brush as well. This actually comes with the Brow Mousse, so it's actually a really nice little duo package. I'm just going to push the product into the brow, starting with the tail and then going towards the front and kind of just using little short strokes. This is basically my brow routine right now. I've been using this product for about a month or so on myself. I've used it on my clients for forever now, but um, I just started using it on myself and I love it. So I'm just going to push that product into the other brow, blend it all out with this little spoolie. And just make sure I get all the sparse areas. To conceal, I'm using the Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey and an E15 brush from Sigma. I'm just going to dot this underneath the brows and just kind of start to blend it out, pushing the product along the brow bone and then just pushing it down. This routine for my eyes changes constantly because my eye area has been really prone to irritation lately so I'm trying to be super sensitive with it to set the brows I'm using Anastasia's clear brow gel and and because my eyes have been so sensitive I've been like bouncing around with primers I've actually really liked this undercover primer by Marc Jacobs it has some coconut in it and it really does help to soothe that whole dry area of my eye so I've been loving that lately we're going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy Extended Palette. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I'm so excited to like keep using this throughout the winter. I'm using a JH32 brush from Morphe and the shade Penny and we're going to just go back and forth into the crease and blend this out. Kind of going towards the tail of the brow as well, just blending it back and forth windshield wiper motions as they say I actually was kind of nervous to use a new primer because you guys know I'm either on my paint of the game or the P Louise base lately but it's just my eyes have been way too irritated for those products so I have to like be super easy on them with the 221 from Mac I'm going in with the ladybug and we're gonna start to create that halo so I'm going back and forth back and forth Going from the inner corner to the outer corner, kind of keeping it very in the eyelid, not really bringing it out too far because we want to create that super half moon circle around the crease. So I go in with this a ton because I want that dark line to be shown, as you can see on the left eye. Well, my left eye, your right. <laughs> so I'm just going back and forth on there and blending out until I feel like everything looks really airbrushed and clean. I'm gonna go back with the JH32 just to kind of blend that out a little more. Now I'm taking the shade Burgundy, literally Burgundy, and I'm going to put it in the same areas just to kind of bring more color to that halo. I'm gonna blend it out with the JH again. And now I'm taking Bordeaux and I'm taking a tiny little pencil brush, the JH38, and I'm going to press this into the outer corners of the halo. So it looks really nice and smoky. And you want to use a pencil brush like this so the color payoff is great and nice and dense. And you can create that shadowing for that perfect smoky halo. I'm putting a little bit in the crease as well just to kind of create that line. And then we're going to go in with the main shimmer using an E58 and Dubai 2. I'm just pushing this in and pressing down and then just kind of patting it so the pigment is nice and thick and opaque on that halo. I always love using a synthetic for shimmers, especially like this one, just because it's super creamy and it really grabs onto the shadow very nicely. Now using a water liner, E17, I'm going in with Bordeaux and just kind of lining the halo just so it looks a little cleaner and a little bit more separate from the outer crease, which is nice. So when you look forward, you can kind of see that line there. And then I'm just blending it with the 221 so it's not too harsh. Now going in with Tokyo and I'm putting it in the center of the eye 
and then using the side of the brush to kind of make that lightning strike. I literally decided to do this in the middle of the tutorial. I always wanted to try it, so there we go. So I just kind of put a base for it, and then I'm gonna go back in with a wet brush later on. And you could see how it's just kind of slightly electrifying. Now I'm going with the NARS Climax Mascara. Love this mascara lately. Super lightweight, but it actually really brings out the length in your lashes, which I love. So I'm just putting on a few coats of that. For lashes, we are using Gigi Bell Lashes and Lexi. These are like my favorites right now. These are my favorites for the holidays just because they're super, super flirty and fun and very dramatic, which I love. So I'm popping those on with some tweezers and Huda Beauty glue, and we're ready for the face. Using CoverGirl's True Blend Primer, the pore minimizing, I've been loving this lately, super moisturizing, super great on the skin. And I'm using the LA Girl Pro Illuminating Foundation with the 3D HD Kabuki brush. I am in shade Warm Beige. I've been loving this for this season. I remember using it a ton last year. Forgot how much I loved it, and now I'm back and loving it again. So, I put this all over my face, obviously, and it just gives you a really, really nice glow. And I bring it down to my neck because it is a tiny bit tanner than me, which is fine because I'm super ultra pale right now. I'm just going to curl my lashes with a little tart curler. And then I'm using the Huda Beauty Cookie Dough Concealer, or this is the Overachiever Concealer in Cookie Dough. <laughs> And I'm just going to put this on. Brilliant by Huda for putting a like metal end to this because it's so cooling for the eyes. Great for puffiness. Brilliant, brilliant idea on her end. I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender to blend this out. I haven't tried the Huda Beauty Blender yet. I do want to try that, but I like to like kind of use what I got first and then go into whatever I have. So I'm going to blend that out put it on my chin and also blend it out on the under cheekbone area. It's gonna give my little, my little contour effect. And I just wanna blend that out, blend it on the forehead with a little butt of the blender and just blend it with my fingers for my nose. Now this is a new product for me. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in Truffle. I use it on a bride because she loved it's so much, she wanted me to use it on the day of, and I was like, I need to try this. It blended so beautifully on her, that I was like, I need to get me one. So I'm just putting it on all the areas I wanna contour, and then I'm using the Optical Blurring Brush by Urban Decay. Not sure if this is a still a thing, it should be, because I loved this brush, oh my god, so much back in the day, and it's still a great brush, so. This used to be my go-to foundation brush. I wonder if you guys remember that. I'm just blending this out all over. I would have blended it with my foundation brush, but this foundation brush that I've been using, the Ultra 3D HD, is like pretty big. So I didn't want to uh, use it for this, especially I wanted to keep the contour in the area, so I wanted to use a smaller brush. I'm just gonna blend the contour on my nose with my fingers. And so far I really do love this contour. It's really really nice blends great and it's still there you know what I mean it doesn't like disappear using the banana bread easy bake powder by Huda Beauty and I'm just packing this in underneath the eyes on the sides of the nose and then also underneath the cheekbones on the chin as well as the forehead a little bit which I never really do that but I just wanted to bake all over that day. I also put it in my smile lines and I've been doing that a lot with my brides lately and I really like the way it looks. Using the Deep Tan Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced, I'm using the KKW Duo Ended Brush. I love this brush because of the density and it's just amazing in putting on a powder that you want the color to show. I'm just putting that on my jawline and the nose and then just blending it down the neck. For blush, I'm using Peaceful by Tarte with an F10 blush brush, my favorite blush brush ever. Just putting that on the apples, going towards the ears. 
And then I'm just using a JH101 brush just to kind of blend everything out and take away a lot of the baking powder. Using Penny again, I'm using this tiny little Colsa Suns brush and putting it on the lower lash line, blending it out. I always kind of start with a light transition before I go with anything dark. And then I'm going to go in with Bordeaux with the same brush and smoke it out. I love this little brush that's traveled with me for so long. So cute. Now I'm taking Tokyo and just going in the inner corner. And I wet the brush so the Tokyo is like really shining. So then this is where I really put it on, on the lightning strike. And it's a little bit more prominent now. So pretty. Just going in with that E17 just to kind of blend it. And then I'm using an F37 brush to blend out the whole face and take away any excess powder. Putting on some more mascara. This NARS one does such a beautiful job with the lower lashes. Really, really great brush. Now going in for highlight, I'm using the Kylie Highlighters in Salted Caramel. Using a Morphe M501. Didn't wet it. Came out really, really beautiful on the cheeks. Haven't used this in a while. Forgot how much I loved it. Putting it on the nose as well, on the bridge, and on the cupid's bow. Going in with Vixen Liner by Kylie Cosmetics. Going to line out these lips. I loved this color so much last year. I wonder if they still sell it actually because it was part of the Christmas collection, I believe. I believe it was. And then I'm going to go in with Vixen. Fixin liquid lipstick and I was going to stop here but I felt like I needed a little bit more something something but this is just such a beautiful color by itself so I went in with Dancer which is also part of the holiday collection from last year and I just kind of focused it in the center and it just gives that beautiful metallic shine so gorgeous to set, I'm using MAC Fix Plus and Rose, and we are all done. And this is the look, you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see next. I hope you guys enjoyed the little lightning strike deal that I did on it. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think uh, down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next, what palettes I should use. Give me everything. I want to know what you guys want to see. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to thumbs it up, give it a nice like, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell because that's really, really important, if, especially if you want to see my videos. And yeah, happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays, happy everything. I know Hanukkah's next week, wild. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye!